Hey everybody, Scavenger here. It's time to get into some more Eternum. So, uh, I don't know where we're at right now. I don't, I don't know where we're at right now. Uh, we just got into the vault. We were about to rob it. There was a, you know, the, the, the security team or whatever caused an explosion, and then we were here. So, let's go ahead and jump in. If you decide you like the video while you're watching, make sure you smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you'd like to get early content and some extra spicy content that you can't get here on YouTube, make sure you check out the Patreon link uh, via the link tree link in the description. All right, that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, uh, I think we're back to where we started initially, where, uh, you know, the the one dude, Mr. Garrington, was kind of like going over the, the failed plan that Ryan and his team had. That, that's what it looks like, because Ryan got his ass kicked a little bit, it looks like. You've been watching the clock for a while now. Were you expecting something to happen? I guess they must have arrested your friends in the vault already. What? <laughs> Did you really think I wasn't going to see that coming? The distraction tactic is older than Rome, boy. The attempt to poison my son, the attack on the bank, it was all to distract me and my men so you could sneak into the vault and steal my gem of doom, am I right? How the fuck did you... How did I know? I've lived a long time, son. Many others have tried before. But I'll be honest... I'm still curious about how you found out that I have a gem of doom. Son of a bitch! <laughs> and do you know what the funniest thing is? The gem of doom isn't even here. My personal safe is totally empty. I'd have paid to see the look on the face of whoever opened it. All that work, and you weren't even close. E empty? Fuck. I knew this whole plan was too hasty. Oh, that must be my men telling me the job is done. Garrington? Is it done? Do you have them? We went to the security room, sir. The camera operators were unconscious, but whoever did it escaped before he arrived. Also, the shooting in the bank lobby has gotten complicated. Those two men are way tougher than we thought. Whatever, let them go. We'll get them later. Tell me about the vault. We're inside, sir. It's empty. What do you mean, empty? All the money is still on the table. They haven't touched anything. Of course, because they know it's marked. Did you get their thief? There's no one here. And only your personal box was open. It's empty. I know it's fucking empty. But if the box was open, then they must have been in there. There's no one, sir. We've checked everything and everywhere. The only thing we found out of place was a strange piece of cardboard. Cardboard? What cardboard? Um, it's just a white paper. What's a drawing in the word Changed written on it? We don't know what it means. What are the... Put me through to the guards at the door of my suite. Um, I don't think there's anyone there right now. What? What did you say? Uh, all of our guards at the casino and the hotel moved to the bank after your call. We were already running short on men because of the shooting at the bank. You left my suite unprotected? It's completely impenetrable, sir. Even if there's no surveillance, the magic blockers are always active, and the door has a titanium deadbolt and a reinforced jam. The windows are made with bulletproof glass, and the ventilation system is too small for anyone to pass through. You! This guy is the one that tried to poison me, Dad. Their group tried to kill me not once, but twice. Twice? Yeah. When I was going to the bathroom to remove the poison from my skin, I was attacked by a kid. She tried to cut me with a knife. I mean, I didn't see the knife, but she scratched me. What are you talking about? Kids can't enter the casino. Um, well, to be honest, I didn't see her clearly. Maybe she was an adult. But in any case, she was no taller than this, I think. Small enough to fit through a ventilation system. What? Hmm. Interesting. What's happening right now? All right, this is his private suite, it looks like. Huh? Okay, what opened? Annie? Is Annie small enough? Oh. 
It's so shiny. It looks just as pretty as one we found in the spooky server. And it's cold. F fuck! They've locked it from the inside! Open up! Time to go! You motherfucker. We didn't really know where the gym was, but there was only two options. The bank's vault or the safe with the genetic scanner in your suite. We couldn't risk it, so we had to plan a simultaneous two-pronged attack. While some of us were breaking into the vault, others would also sneak into your suite, unprotected because of the attack and breachable thanks to your son's genetic sample. There was also a third option that you were carrying it around the whole time, but judging by your reaction, I don't think that's the case. You're never going to escape from here with it. Uh, well, that's where you're wrong. We had a good escape plan. A damn good one. The easiest part of the heist, really. It almost feels like cheating, to be honest. We still had to find out a way to sneak in, of course. It was a challenge to get into the vault and the suite unnoticed, but exiting was never a huge concern. This lady here can create portals to and from wherever we want. And she's unaffected by magic blockers or restrictions of any kind. We're immensely lucky to be assisted by the Princess of Saitelkazar herself. That is better. I appreciate that you're treating me with due respect. Anything to please my beloved princess. Is this what you're looking for? Hell yeah! I'm guessing Pluto gave this to you. Is she safe? They all are. You're the last one. Excellent! Was it too tiring to open so many portals? I had enough time to prepare myself, and they were all near each other and in the same world. That made it easier. I'm feeling stronger too. Soon I'll be able to return to my homeland. I can feel it. I'm happy to hear that. Please don't overexert yourself. Well, it's been a pleasure, Mr. Carrington. Take care and give your employees raises. They definitely deserve them after tonight. Oh, and no worries, Benny. The hydroxynacinamate toxin doesn't exist, so you can sleep soundly tonight. What's going on? You had a gem of doom, Dad? And they just stole it? Nah, I wouldn't say steal. Someone once told me that in Eternum, things don't actually get stolen. They just happen to move around. Hmm. Um, Dad? <laughs> well, I think we successfully pulled off the heist. I didn't have any doubts. I don't know if you guys did or not. But, uh... Oh, shit, where are we now? We did not go back to, uh... Out of the server. Oh my god, we did it! We fucking did it, girls! We... Wait, why am I in the main nexus? Wasn't I using a portal? Heads. Turning around. Oh, oh uh, hi, Adriel. Why... Why am I here? Heads. You were redirected here after using an exit portal. We detected you own a gem of doom now. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, thank you. It's not the first time I've had one, though. Heads. I know, but this time is special. We're holding an exclusive dinner this Saturday evening at the Rockefeller server. Only the most important people of Eternum are invited, and that includes the owners of Gems of Doom. Heads. Oh, that's awesome. I had no idea. The invitation of the previous owner of this Gem of Doom will be revoked and given to you instead. If you lose your Gem of Doom before Saturday, you'll lose your invitation as well. I'll make sure not to lose it. Thank you so much. Heads. You can bring a guest of your choice. Obviously, given the nature of the event, all kinds of violence or attempted robberies are forbidden. And finally, all guests must wear masks during the ceremony to avoid disclosing the identities of the other gym holders. Well, that makes sense. What do I have to do to go there? Heads. Just join the associated server and enter the Boyle Mansion. You'll be given access to both when the time comes. Wonderful. Thanks, Idril. 
Do you have any questions about anything? Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, can I ask what level I am? Heads. You are level seven. I see. Thank you. Uh, well, I guess that's all. Will I see you at the dinner? Of course. As long as you don't lose your gem. Heads. All right. I guess I'll log off for now. I'm pretty tired and hungry. Bye. Until next time, Ryan. Heads or tails. Um, it's been heads this whole time. Heads. It's probably a two-headed coin. That'd be weird if it, uh, if it wasn't. All right. Um, this is a few days later, but I feel like because we just finished the heist, this would be a good point to wrap it up. Um, kind of a shorter one than usual, but we're going to go ahead and end it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed the heist throughout the uh, last few videos. It, it was a fun time. I hope you had a good time. And if you did and you want to see more of this gameplay, make sure, like I said in the beginning of this video, to smack the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and um, make sure you check out that link tree link in the description where you can see my Patreon page and some other links as well. That's all I got for you guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Remember? I did so long! <laughs> what do you have me making, man? Oh. Scab.